Welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. If you are watching this video on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website. It's hanksters.com. This is where you can find all of our most current inventory. When a vehicle is funded in full, it comes down off our website, letting you know it's no longer available. However, uh, we leave all of our YouTube videos up at all times uh, for both of our showrooms. So we shoot anywhere from probably three to four videos per week. And we found that the uh, people that subscribe to our channel enjoy seeing what kind of quality and quantity of car go through our showroom. So we leave them up for you guys to watch. Check us out on Instagram. Um, we're going to give you little sneak peeks of cars that are to come that we're going to be doing video presentations such as this one on and uh, still photos as well as other automotive related material. 1988 Chevrolet Monte Carlo 305. Power steering, power brakes, and yes, air conditioning. Um, this particular car, I do not have any documentation on. Um, it is not a true mileage car. Uh, the uh, title reads exempt for the mileage. Shut the hood here. Um, and I don't know, you know, I don't have any history as to when the car was painted, when the motor might have been rebuilt, when the transmission might have been redone, anything like that. Um, so, you know, some cars we get that stuff with and some cars you don't. If it's just, if it's available, we provide it to you guys. Um, but nice looking car. Uh, as you can see, it's like maroon in color. Um, the paint quality on the car all the way around, is, you know, it's a driver quality paint, but it's very, very nice paint on the car. Um, hood looks great. Uh, paint on the hood looks absolutely fantastic. Um, same thing with the paint on the driver's side front fender. Uh, BFG radials and uh, the five-star uh, Chevrolet mag wheels for the car. Uh, those are in pretty good condition as well. We take uh, up close still photos of those wheels uh, that you can see on the uh, website. Um, so you'll be able to get a good look at those. So you can see the quality of those. Um, dual mirrors painted the same color as the car. Window glass on the car all the way around is in very good condition. Um, with these old Monte Carlos and Grand Nationals and this body style General Motors, they had real long doors. So you have, uh, you know, the doors would have a tendency over time to sag, you know, or not want to shut properly. Got good door gaps here on the front and on the rear. So if you look at those, they're nice and uniform all the way down. You have your uh, red pinstriping that goes all the way around the car along with your uh, SS Monte Carlo designation. Take a look in the uh, driver's side. Uh, it is cloth interior in the vehicle. Um, overall, the interior is in very good condition. You can um, look at the center console, look at the dash pad, the steering wheel, uh, the seats, so on and so forth. Uh, we'll, we'll give you a better up close and personal look uh, when we're doing the test drive on the vehicle. Um, headliner's in good shape. Looks like a newer headliner. I don't see any rips or tears or anything in the interior of the car. Uh, does come with floor mats, both front and rear, and the carpeting underneath the floor mats is in good shape. Uh, let's see here. So we'll close the door. Um, door fitment down the uh, driver's side is very good on the car. We'll shoot down the uh, side of the car there so you can see that, and you'll also hopefully be able to see it in the angles of the still photos. Uh, rear window glass is in great shape. You have your third brake light up there mounted in the hat rack. Huge trunk lid on this uh, Monty. Uh, not only are the gaps good, but it also fits flush there to the uh, rear quarters. SS designation on the uh, rear here. Um, no spider webbing or cracking on the uh, rear bumper. You know, the rear bumper is fiberglass, so, uh, you know, with fiberglass vehicles of this era, you know, they had a tendency to, you know, when they flexed or, you know, you got heat on them or whatever, they would, they would crack in a paint with spider web. This one's not that case. Do have a aftermarket stereo system put into this particular car. Uh, looks like, to me, I, I don't think those are 12s. I think those are 10s, uh, two Pioneers. Um, spare, uh, donut. Not a full-size spare, just a donut spare there. It does have a jack behind it. So that's what you got in the trunk. 
shooting down the passenger side of the car, you can see um, the door fitment's good and the body lines are good. You know, I can tell you that looking at this car, uh, to me, I, I think this is all original sheet metal, if you ask me. Um, I haven't dove completely into it yet, but uh, it certainly looks that way to me. I mean, it, it's just real nice body lines on the car for, for what it is. Um, looking into the passenger side of the vehicle, um, again, the uh, passenger side door, you got your uh, carpeting, both top and bottom, and then uh, your vinyl there. All, it's all in good shape. None of it's cracked, none of it's discolored, none of the glue's coming off the carpet um, on the rear door, anything like that. Um, passenger side seat's in good shape. I'll take a look in the back seat here for you guys real fast. You'll be able to see it in the still photos as well, but you know, again, I don't see anything that's ripped or torn or worn out. Dash is in good condition. Again, we'll look at that um, when we're inside the car, give you a closer look. Passenger side mirror, SS designation on the uh, passenger side door. Uh, yeah, the uh, passenger side fender looks about the same as the driver's side. You know, really nice paint on the car. Um, again, I don't know, I, I don't think this is original paint. I don't know for sure, but um, Nonetheless, it's really nice, you know, really nice paint on the car. Um, low here on the uh, front spoiler or ground effects there, that's where you normally take like your, you know, your road debris or your rocks, you know, where it's chipped up. There are a couple runs here down on the lower spoiler, but you know, overall, uh, nice shape in the, uh, in the front there as well, so. Right now we're gonna take the car outside and throw it on the rack put it up in the air and check out what the undercarriage looks like and then after that we'll drive it. Okay, we're underneath our 1988 Chevrolet Monte Carlo. Front uh, disc brakes. I was telling you earlier in the showroom that I don't know how many miles were on the motor since the rebuild, um, but if you take a look, it does look like a fresh build up there. Um, just because it's, you know, it looks painted and it looks like it's been recently done. But again, I don't know. I'm just going by what my observations are. I don't have any way to prove that to you. Um, dual uh, headers coming down off of the uh, side of the block there. Uh, no flywheel cover, typical in Florida to uh, keep the car cool. See, there's no tranny pan leaks. You're looking directly at it. Um, floor pans look good. We got some kind of, I don't know, some kind of cross member going across here. Um, looks like it's all there. Uh, frame rails on the car look good. The uh, floor pans look good. I don't see anywhere where they've been patched in or spliced in. They look like they're all one piece. So that's a good thing there. Uh, frame rails here where we have the lift setting. Both sides look good. Driver's side and passenger side. Uh, drum brakes in the rear. Rear end looks good. Gas tank's not dented up or dinged up. Here's where your spare sits, where we showed it earlier in the showroom. Uh, dual mufflers, dual mufflers, and then dual pipes coming out underneath your uh, rear fascia there. Looks good up there too. Uh, drop downs on the uh, rear quarters there, both driver's side and passenger side. Not a bad looking car. Uh, up there where the, uh, you know, when we have it off the lift, up there where the uh, rear end will sit, you can see it's nice and solid up there as well in the trunk area in the, uh, that would be where like the back seat area is. Cool stuff. So uh, we do these video presentations for you underneath and take all these photos because we do a lot of business sight unseen. Um, however, I encourage you to come and look at what you are buying for yourself. Um, nobody's a better judge of what you're spending your hard-earned money on than you are. So um, your expectations may be higher than mine, they may be lower than mine. So it's always best if you come in person and, and check out what you're buying. Um, that is what we encourage. We'll let you drive it, we'll throw it on the rack, we'll show you our entire inventory in our showroom. Um, you know, not only this Monte Carlo, but you know, you can see our entire business operation. We have a beautiful uh, showroom here in Daytona Beach. You can check out all of our vehicles. However, with that being said, I already told you that we do most of our business sight unseen. So, 
Um, we take a lot of photos. We take a lot of video. We do even more video above and beyond this. You know, people ask, well, shoot me a video of this or shoot me a closer picture of that. And we do that as well. A lot of texting, a lot of emailing. Um, and we're pretty successful at it. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you we make everybody happy because we certainly don't. Um, but I tell you what, we do a damn good job of, of making most people happy. And that why, that's why we've been in business a long time. Um, our showroom up in PA has been there 17 years. And our uh, showroom here in Daytona has been here six now. So we sell a lot of cars between these two showrooms and uh, we have a pretty good reputation. So um, financing, yes. We work with three different collector car lenders that makes your dream possible. Um, they will require a 10% down payment on a tier one approval. And then the remaining balance over a five and eight or a 10 year term, whatever you might get approved for. Um, go on our website, click on the car you're interested in. Uh, click on the red financing tab, complete the credit application. The lender will contact you directly within an hour, two hours, three hours, depending on how many applications are in front of yours. And if you like what you hear, you call me and we, uh, or you call me or you talk to Devin and you uh, put a down payment on the car, secure it, goes towards the purchase price of the car, and we get the whole process uh, rolling with the um, paperwork and uh, the loan docs and so on and so forth. If you're a cash buyer, it's pretty much the same process. Just email us on the car you're interested in. Uh, we'll get the sales docs going for you, send it over. You can uh, send a certified bank check or you can do a bank wire. We accept either one. And then as soon as it's funded in full, the car's on the way to you. Let's put this 88 Monte Carlo on the ground, take it on a test drive and see how it runs out. Okay, we're inside our 88 Monte Carlo. Let's start with the uh, tilt wheel. Um, horn. Turn signals. Driver's side is functioning. Passenger side is not. There is no passenger side turn signal indicator. It works on the outside, but not on the inside. Wipers. Low, high, and then off. Two speed wiper. Uh, windows. Driver's side. Passenger side. Locks. Uh, the mirrors are not powered, they're just, uh, you know, the old school remote mirror. Um, what else can we show you? Oh, I'm sure you guys want to hear the radio, right? So there's your uh, Kenwood radio that, that slides in and out as you turn the car on and off. Uh, we got it set to stay out right now just so we can show it to you guys. But uh, Miller Lite, it's been an amazing few months. We had such a good time. I want to see everyone out there Saturday. So that works. Um, let's see. Source. So there's your Sirius XM tuner, DVD, USB, iPod, Bluetooth. So it has it all. So um, let's see if the AC works. So it's on here. Let me. Yeah, blowing cold. So it's working. That's a good thing because it's about, I don't know, probably upper 80s today. So we'll leave that on during our test drive. I'll turn it down a little bit so we don't have the noise in the background. But um, yeah, looks nice. Center console looks good. Again, I was telling you guys about the uh, interior and the carpeting. So you get a close look at that. Dash pad's not all uh, cracked up or uh, you know needs any TLC or repair. Uh, this is like a, uh, you know, plastic there that's in good condition as well. Let's take it out and drive it. This car has a really nice ride to it. It really does. Um, 95,347 is what the odometer reads. My guess would be that is actual miles. However, the title does read exempt, so I don't, I don't know for sure. So we're selling it through mileage unknown. Um, the speedometer is accurate. It's not only uh, functioning, but it's not uh, bouncing all over the place. Uh, fuel gauge works. Battery voltage works. Oil pressure is working. Temperature is coming up. We just started the car. Uh, RPM. 
you see it's functioning I just hit the gas a little bit there for you response in the steering wheel is fantastic there are no uh, shimmy shakes rattles um, nice and quiet in the interior of the vehicle here you let go to steering wheel the car tracks straight doesn't pull to one side or the other we're gonna turn up here hit the brakes check it out no hands on the wheel doesn't pull to one side or the other when you hit the brakes There's no uh, vibration or pulsation in the rotors either I don't know if you could hear that in the video, but the transmission shifts nicely. 45 miles per hour. Again, the speedometer is um, not only reading, but you know, not bouncing all around. Beautiful day here. So since we're on a straightaway, like I said, you let go of the wheel and the, uh, the car tracks nice and straight. car has good acceleration when you're at a traffic light or you're to stop it's not spitting sputtering wanting to stall out no hesitation in acceleration it has good acceleration no tire vibration whatsoever it's nice looking 88 Monte Carlo runs nice looks nice inexpensive uh, collector car we are located in Daytona Beach Hankster's Hot Rods 386-944-9219 is our contact phone in Daytona Beach once again hanksters.com is our website this is where you can find probably at least 80 photos of this car today if not a couple more um, I'm gonna pop a u-turn up here because the cops have the road blocked so there must be an accident or something look at that something going on up there so um, like I was saying we are going to put at least 80 still photos on our website today along with this video presentation we're doing for you right now at full retail price, this vehicle includes shipping anywhere in the lower 48 United States, along with a 12-month, 12 12,000-mile 12, powertrain warranty. The warranty covers engine, transmission, and rear-end internal components, so major mechanical breakdowns. It does not cover starters, batteries, alternators, valve cover gaskets leaking, um, you know, oil pan gaskets leaking, things like that. It's just going to be internal components. You have a $100 deductible. It's good at any ASC certified facility in the United States, and then the warranty picks up the remainder on a covered repair. So, is the price of the car negotiable? Yes, it most certainly is. However, if we negotiate the price of the car, then the shipping drops off and the warranty drops off, and then you just pay for the shipping when the car arrives, or we negotiate the shipping separately and negotiate the warranty separately. We would love to earn your business on this 88 Monte Carlo. If you're not in the market for an 88 Monte Carlo, we generally have anywhere from 60 to 70 other vehicles on hand for you to choose from. So, again, if you check out our website, those are all on there. Hangsters Hot Rods, hangsters.com. We are located in Daytona Beach, Florida. We'd love to add you to our growing base of customers, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the world. Check us out.